There is a touch of sweet irony, as Palmer is stalking F1 in a red Ferrari, with Pastor Martin Nimola's famous quote echoing in the background. From the outset, Liberty Media had wanted to stop Lewis Hamilton, by hook or crook, and replace him with Max Verstappen. At that time, Ferrari being the political animal that it is, looked the other way. So, it is rather fitting that as Charles has now replaced Lewis as Max's main challenger, the battle between Liberty Media and Ferrari is echoing to the pastor's words. We completely respect Charles Leclerc as a person, applaud his exceptional talents as a driver, and wish him all the best for a successful championship campaign this season. We are relishing his destruction of Liberty Media's cardboard champion, and are looking forward to the confrontation between Ferrari and Liberty Media, when Ferrari begin to understand what it means to go up against Liberty Media's anointed. We have every confidence that Ferrari is a more accomplished political operator than Mercedes, and the impending confrontation between them and the ruthless Liberty Media is going to be brutal. There is no doubting the fact that Max Verstappen is Liberty Media's anointed. As Charles is acutely aware, Let Them Race was introduced and applied for Max's benefit. It was under the cover of Let Them Race that Max was allowed to barge Charles off the track in Austria in 2019, and it was also under the cover of Let Them Race that Max was able to exceed track limits to overcome Charles' buccaneering defense in the following race at Silverstone. The fans made Charles the driver of the day for his swashbuckling defense, while the FIA doubled down on their support for Max by naming his track limits exceeding overtake, the overtake of the year. Now roll on 2022, where it is looking like the main championship contenders are the swashbuckling Charles, who is loving the contest, and the whinging Dutchman, who isn't. It is a matter of public record from the first two races of the season that Charles has got the better of the tactical contest, particularly in the application of the DOS. Max, on the other hand, has made it clear that his driving style and mentality are inimical to the DOS. Consequently, he and his acolytes started complaining about how the DRS was somewhat killing the spirit of the sport. However, in the first race of the season, Martin Gopher Brundle had raved about Max's DRS assisted overtake as he and Max never cottoned onto the fact that Charles was selling him a dummy. In the second race, Max initially attempted to disregard the lessons of the tactical application of the DRS that Charles had taught him in Bahrain. He eventually conceded that he had to play the DRS game, contrary to his natural instincts. And when he rashly attempted to, he flat spotted his tires badly, and was lucky that there were only a few laps left to the end, and which also included a safety car period. It was also his rash attempt to play the DRS tactics that caused him to break Czech Lewis Hamilton last year at the same circuit. So, it is clear that Max has difficulty applying the DRS tactically. Consequently, it is very telling that, in the third race of the season, his benefactor reduced the number of DRS zones, allegedly for safety reasons, without explaining how the DRS threatened safety. The truth is in the detail. Making unsubstantiated headline statements is a well-established media manipulation technique, because a lie often repeated gains the appearance of truth. We have not been able to find the widely reported and extensively quoted FIA statement itself. During the Australian Grand Prix, we heard little of Max's radio as he labored behind Charles. This is rather odd, given that Max's radio has been a regular feature of F1 coverage, and this was how he gained his reputation for whinging. It is very revealing that, three races into the season, Liberty Media are already moving to prop up Max's Shem Championship. Three races into Max's reign, Charles is 46 points ahead of the sixth-placed cardboard champion, who has so far failed to finish twice. Critically, Charles has been nominated driver of the day for the third race running. Forza Ferrari. Bravo Charles.